How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here. Definitely bring you guys a weird gameplay that I got a few hours ago. You know, I, I thought I'd hop on and tell you guys how to get better at, uh, at actually enjoying the game, if that sounds weird enough, or how to enjoy Advanced Warfare, I guess I'm probably going to call the video. But either way, I've got at least seven or eight tips on how to enjoy the game, because I know a lot of people are amidst w deciding whether to buy the game, or they just got it, or they've had it since the release like me, or even a little bit before the release like me. And they're, they're really enjoying the game and they're having a lot of fun, but the first like three weeks that the game came out, basically everybody's tryharding, you know, and, and I got to teach you guys. I, I want you guys to know that it's still possible to have fun playing Advanced Warfare. You don't always have to try. And I hope you guys can tell that I'm obviously not trying with the SAC 3 dual wield, which you have to rock dual wield, which I, I'm kind of disappointed about, to be honest with you guys. This, this gun looks like the Vector. It'd probably be really good if I didn't have to rock it dual wield, but you know, dual wield's not always a bad thing. <laughs> I mean, I mean, a lot of the time it is, but <laughs> sometimes it's not bad. And you know that this is one of uh, this is a prime example of how to have fun in advanced warfare. You you use unorthodox setups. Guns like this, the SAC three, uh, they they can change the way you play, and they will change the way you play just because uh, you can't ADS. Like <laughs> the, I, I was gonna try and explain it in some uh, some you know intricate way, but. Uh, you, you, you just can't aim. You, you got to run around and you got to run and gun and you got to hit fire and you got to run the laser sights like I am in this gameplay. And that's just what you got to do. This is another way to have fun. Also, you can got, you guys can play with friends. That's something that in any video game, maybe not, not even just advanced warfare, just video games in general, maybe even just activities in general, you guys should play with friends or I don't know if all activities you can play with friends or do stuff with friends. People, people that you can talk to and relate to definitely will increase the the funness. I don't even know if that's a word, the funness of the activity that you're doing. Uh, don't care about your kill death ratio because in this game, kill death ratio is kind of weird. I feel like I don't get nearly as high of a kill death ratio as I do in other Call of Duties. It could just be me or maybe me and a few of my friends, but I think that not caring about your kill death ratio is going to increase the fun you're going to have. You know, it's done that for me previously in other Call of Duties, and it's done it for a lot of people. You know, a lot of people get too sweaty about their kill death ratio, their win loss ratio, their score per minute. They start freaking out about it, and that just kind of takes away the fun aspect of Call of Duty for me. So I, I, I'm definitely going to suggest you guys to play with your friends and not care about your kill death ratio, maybe even both at the same time. Uh, use fun setups again, like I mentioned earlier, like the Sac 3 Dual Wheel. This is a prime example of me using a fun setup. Clearly, I'm not trying hard. I'm kind of just running and gunning and jumping around with the, the spike drone trying to get a few kills here and there. I think you get a nice last kill for it. So if you guys want to stay to the end and see that, go ahead and do that. Uh, small goals, you know, making stuff like I want to go on a five kill streak this game, that can also get kind of stressful. So I'd say do it to a certain point. Don't do it to where it's going to stress you out fully because, you know, stress, you're playing a video game. You're kind of trying to do the opposite of stress, but go ahead and do that. Uh, go for challenges and camos. Camos are, are, they used to be really, really impossible towards the first week of Advanced Warfare to get. Now they're a little bit easier, so it's a lot more fun seeing like Diamond and actually getting like these other camos and stuff like that. So you can go for there. Or, or you can just go into like the barracks and see the different challenges if you guys like that, getting a lot of XP and leveling up. That's another thing. Leveling up is another way to have a lot of fun in Advanced Warfare. I see a lot of people try and get 15th prestige, highest prestige, whatever highest level. Level. Maybe you don't like to prestige, but leveling up has always been something that I really enjoy. Uh, try different modes, and also this kind of goes hand in hand. Try different modes and don't play the same play style. Don't always run and gun. Don't always camp. You got to switch it up. You got to switch up your guns and have a lot of fun. If you use the ball 27 every game, you're not going to be having a lot of fun. If you're constantly trying hard and only playing ground war, you know, you're not going to have a lot of fun. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like and maybe even go take some of these things that I suggest you guys to do in action. There's that spike drone kill, and I'm out of 5,000.